Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, I can share with you three things. So number one, some essentials about the Kukam AK split cable, as you can see, with one Type-C input and two Type-C output. Number two, the invisible 4K live setup of the Kendall Kukam AK. Number three, we're gonna talk about the quick charge on the Kukam AK. And the quick charge is a fact that no other YouTubers has ever talked about this camera. My name is Yu Guo, a 360 photographer lover and specialize in one shot 360 photography. Let's get started. Let's talk about this split cable. It says a split cable is a new developed accessory for the Kukam AK. It's around uh, 20 centimeters long and it has one USB Type-C input but with dual Type-C output. And for the Type-C output, uh, they have different functionalities. I will take a closer look at this. On the right, you can, uh, on the left, it says a charging port which support quick charge. On the right, it's a data transfer. And on the, on the back side, you can see the Kukam logo. The split cable is actually a very interesting accessory about the Kukam AK. Not only you can charge while 4K live, but also with some firmware update in the future, this will be a very powerful cable on the mobile photography workflow on the Kukam AK. I will share with you my latest result about this cable when the firmware is ready to the market the invisible setup about the 4K live on the Kukam AK. Now you can see here is my setup about the Kukam AK 4K live setup. Let me introduce my setup one by one. Yes, this one is a mini tripod. Uh, next one is this phone clamp, uh, but this phone clamp is a little bit different with uh, compared with other phone clamps. It has a quarter inch mount on the bottom, but also with a coat shoe mount on the top. Next up is a converter, which could convert a coat shoe mount to a quarter inch screw on the top, okay? The next one is a spacer, uh, which could help you make the nadir part smaller. For the external microphone, I recommend the Blink 500. Uh, one of the interesting facts about the Blink 500 is that, is that it has a thinner receiver to make your external receiver invisible. Another interesting fact about the Blink 500 is that it supports up to two transmitters. Not only you can talk with your audience, but you can also put in the other transceiver to any part of your environment. For the battery life of the Saramonic Blink 500, it supports up to three hours battery life with fully charged. And next up, we are going to introduce the cables. The cable, you can see uh, with the split cable, you can perform the 4K live while charge. And the charge speed is very fast. We're gonna test the charge speed later on. Uh, next part is a uh, Type-C to Type-C OTG cable, uh, which you can also find in your package. The other one is a uh, Type-A to Type-C cable, uh, which could help you to charge your camera through the split cable, okay? And uh, this this one is a power bank handle. It's Ulanzi BG2. Uh, it has uh, 6,800 milliamp, which could support the Kukam AK for another extra three hours battery life. And it also, this uh, battery bank support quick charge, which I will show you later on. Yes, the most important of all is that you need a Kukam AK, yes? and you need an Android phone. What if I have an iPhone, but I still want to 4K live to the world? Yes, for the iPhone users, you can purchase a Type-C to Lightning cable like this, and you can also uh, connect your iPhone with the Kukam AK. And this setup also work with the speed cable. Yes, and if you want to charge your iPhone, you can take the advantage of the wireless charging pad on the back of the latest model of the iPhone. And here I have uh, already uh, finished some of the steps, the mini tripod, the power bank handle, the phone clamp. And next up is to put this coast to mount to quarter inch mount to the top of the setup. Uh, next is to put a spacer because we are going, we are, we, we're gonna need a very small 
nadir part about the setup. And next to put this cookm AK on the on the top. So now this is the setup. Mini tripod, power bank handle, Android phone, spacer, and the cookm AK. And if you look to this the other angle, you can see everything was located uh, at the stitching area and they are gonna be invisible in the final result. So to put all the cables in the stitching area is a key part for the invisible setup. So now I will put the this split cable to the Kukam AK Type C port. And so next up, I will put this uh, USB Type C cable to the power bank handle. And to connect with the charging port here, the other one is uh, Type C to Type C OTG cable. You put this one with the, the your Android device, and put the other one to the Google AK split cable. Okay, it's it's not finished yet because if you look to this side of of the setup, you can see the cables uh, are in a mess. Yes, so now you can see that on the cable to. The, if we look to the other direction, uh, these cables are all located in the stitching area. And for the microphone, uh, for the to put the receiver, we can put the, the receiver to the bottom of the tripod leg. And with this cable, we can connect to the top. And this has a, a spring cable and to connect to the line out. Yes, and now if you look to the other part, you can see these cables are also organized to the, the stitching area. Turn to the bottom, you can see there is only a very small line on the nadir part, which indicate that everything is, is has gone, and everything is invisible in the setup. Now we have connect with the Kukam AK, and uh, now let's take a closer look at the setup. And let's see what we have on the nadir pad. You can also change the orientation on the go for the best possible experience. Now you can see the cables are now uh, appear on your result. And in this case, you can turn around to the orientation. Turn to this side, you can see your phone is now invisible, but we still see some uh, shadows around the cables. And if we carefully organize the cable, you see now everything is invisible in the final result, right? So that is how I achieve my 4K setup with the invisibility about the Kukam AK, right? Okay. So finally, I'm gonna share with you my knowledge, some interesting fact about the quick charge on the Kukam AK. Now we have 22% battery left on the Kukam AK. Let's test the charge speed, okay? Plug in the Type-C cable, and let's see that. What about the charge speed? You can see now the real-time charge speed about the Kukam AK is 7.3 watt. The 7.3 watt is the online charge speed about the Kukam AK. And with 7.3 watt charge speed, you will not lose any battery while perform the 4K live. Actually for the engineer behind the Kukam AK, it support a higher speed quick charge if you power off. Now let's see that if we power off the Kukam AK, which means you can charge at full speed. Now we can see it's, it's 9.3 watt. It's much faster compared with the online charge. So the reason why the charge speed is faster compared with the online charge is that when the, power, when the camera has been powered off, you don't have to worry about the heat dissipation. You know that the Kukam AK will generate a quite amount of heat while record. So for the safety reasons, the engineer have to lower the charge speed a little bit compared with this fully charged. So the real charge speed from this power bank handle, you can see that is 9.3 watt. This is a really fast charge speed. The charging protocol is the USB power delivery. So now let's test uh, what, what will happen if we charge with the, the split cable. Let's charge charge the Kukam AK through the charging port. 
Let's see exactly the charging speed. Yes. So now you can see with the split cable, the charge speed remain exactly the same compared with uh, the one without the split cable. And we we'll power on the camera, uh, the charge speed will drop down a little bit to 7.3 watts. You can see that. Now uh, the, power, the camera has already started. Now the charge speed, you can see that, is around 7.6 watt. It's also uh, charged really fast. So with uh, the split cable, it will not affect the charging speed for the Cook MAK. And for the Cook MAK, while working with the Ulanzi BG2 power bank handle, you will always have the quick charge. Okay, to wrap up, in this video I have shown you the essentials about the split cable for the Cook MAK. The 4K invisible live setup for the Cook MAK and also some very interesting facts about the quick charge which no other guys has ever talked about on the OneShot 360 camera. Before we finish this video, I also have some thoughts to share with you during this coronavirus quarantine. Now we are living at a very special moment on the human history. The coronavirus does have a big impact on the OneShot 360 companies, especially for the consumer level product. So the 360 camera companies such as the Insta360, the Kendall, the Ricoh, they are going to shift their directions to make a living because this time is a little bit hard for these companies. And for the users like you and me, we work together to support this industry as much as we can. That's all for this video. If you like it, please thumb up, subscribe, and hit notification bell. But if you dislike it, it doesn't matter, hit dislike twice. All right, that's all for this video. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>